Hey, welcome back everybody. Fall is in the air. It's time to get those last projects of the year done. A lot of those projects can be tackled with tools for your tractor. Let's talk about those today. As always, we are proud to be sponsored by Boro Wheel Spacers. If you're feeling a little tippy on your tractor, you know, lean in side to side, check out Bora, made in America and a lifetime warranty. Hey, you know what? If you found this video helpful, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you and leave a comment down below. If you want to see more tractor videos, hit that subscribe button. And if you're looking for something for your tractor, make sure you check out goodworkstractors.com. Whew, well actually it's getting hot, you know, and that's how you know it's fall is when you have to start out the day in your sweatshirt because it's mid forties and then it warms up pretty quickly to the sixties. Fall is just really a great time for yard work, you know? So whether you're trying to get your lawn back in shape, get it healthier, you know, it's a good time to overseed and to aerate and just level everything out. But we also know fall has a reputation of making things a mess and we have to be able to keep things looking good well, at least I want to. Maybe you don't have to, but I want to, you know? So I like a good, healthy lawn. I want it to look good year round, or at least when the snow's on, on it. So we're gonna talk about all those tools today to help you out. But I have a lot of projects, a lot of actually neglected maintenance that I have put off all year long on my lawn. You guys may be in the same boat, or maybe you just wanna do your lawn renovations now. Make sure it's cleaned up in tip top shape before winter hits. It's just unavoidable this time of year. Well, at least in the Northern half of the US. So let's talk about some tools for your machine, for your tractor that can make life a lot easier. You're not gonna to have to break your back. You might have to sweat a little bit still, but not too much. Let's get to it now. Let's talk about several cleanup tools for your lawn. Three big ones come to mind and they're gonna have a wide difference in price range. The cheapest one will be the Dethatcher and we've talked about that at length, at extent. It is very versatile. We've done videos specifically about the Dethatcher. It's basically just a rake. You know, you put it on the three point hitch on the back of your tractor. You can drive forwards, backwards with it, but it's just gonna collect things as it goes along. It's gonna be very safe, unlike a landscape rake or a pine needle rake where it could really rip up the turf. I'm standing on it now and you start to have a lot of rains that come in the fall and the ground just holds more moisture and you put something heavy duty like a landscape rake or a pine straw rake pine needle rake on your lawn it's going to rip up the side really bad but the thatcher is a light duty rake it weighs 48 pounds that's the shipping weight so you can pick it up by hand very easily move it around put it on your three-point hitch it's quick hitch compatible as well but it is going to collect the leaves the debris the twigs and whatnot without really ripping up your turf you'll see a little bit of, uh, of scuffing and scratching because it will scarify as well which is really good for seeding now the rake on one pass is not going to clean up every last leaf you know, but you make a couple passes, you're gonna get probably 90, 95% of the leaves off of your lawn. It is way better than doing it by hand or a backpack blower. But maybe the best feature about the Thatcher is the fact that it is multi-purpose. You know, it is not just there to rake up leaves, but it has so many other uses. And again, we've gone all over it in a video, so I'd encourage you to watch it if you wanna get more information before making a decision. Okay, we're gonna jump up in price point, but we're gonna get to a really cool piece of equipment, which is a Protero bagger or baggers in general. Now, while we're going up in price point, we are gonna be more application specific, which is going to be sucking up those leaves and to a smaller degree, the branches. So whereas the Dethatcher rake will be more multi-purpose and maybe not as good as just one job cleaning up leaves, this is gonna really excel. I did uh, mow out here and use the bagger last night for the first time this fall. And besides the new stuff that's dropped down, it got almost everything else that was out there. However, it's not just leaves though. I mean, there was a ton of grass clippings that we picked up here. I have been just so behind schedule. I probably didn't mow for almost two weeks. So I chopped off probably a good three and a half, four inches of grass, which you can see over there in the burn pit too. It's good, not just for leaves, but for grass clippings as well. And, you know, a few sticks here and there that'll get chopped up and sucked up. Um, Nuts, you know, walnuts and, and acorns aren't really gonna get sucked up through there. There's not enough suction down in the mower deck to drive it through the system and into the hopper. But for all that other material, that light debris, it will find its way up into here. There's a handful of great features about the Protero system. It's gonna be a dump from the seat system. So you can push down on this handle. It'll swing open the back door and everything will drop right out. It's gonna be quick hitch compatible if you want to or regular category one three point hitch compatible. It's gonna be PTO driven as well, which means it's not gonna have a pulley system like a lot of the other John Deere baggers are going to have. It's going to be driven off of the rear PTO, so it's very powerful for that fan, providing that suction process all the way up into the hopper. Oh, and while they're off now, it does come equipped with a pair of parking stands that have rollers on them, so you can take them off on your driveway, roll them around your garage. Easy for storage, easier for transportation. And the best part about this product is that you are going to order directly from Patero's website. They're going to make one that is custom fit to your machine, so your mower deck, They'll cut the PTO length to the right length for you. It'll be set up the right way and you can save 5% using code GWT. So something handy that I figured out 
last year, year before, was there's an integrated black rail on the front of the 1025R, and I think some other tractor models have it as well, but you can just hang weights right on that rail. You don't need to necessarily add on an additional weight bracket. I can't fit 70 pound weights. These are 70 pound weights. So I have 350 pounds up here. I cannot fit these on here with the loader, but I have put the 41 pound weights on this front rail and I left them on there actually while I had my loader on. Be careful the first time you do it because you don't want your torque tube to come down and smash anything on here or vice versa while it's going up. But know that's an option on some of these tractors, the 1025R in particular. Again, five weights on here, a great form of ballast weight if you don't want to have your front end loader on. That could be for a bagger, it could be for a tiller, it could be for a brush hog. Anything you want to put on the back end, it's nice to have that counterweight up front. So we do sell these suitcase weights. If you're looking to get a weight bundle with a weight bracket for your three-point hitch, that's a great time to get these. They ship to your house. Shipping is included. If you want to add on just a handful of weights to another order shipping out on a pallet, say you're getting a set of pallet forks or a snow pusher or a tiller, something else that's big, going to ship freight, we can add on suitcase weights individually for no extra shipping charge. But just to clarify, because it is kind of confusing, if you are looking just to buy weights without a bracket or without any other items, this is not something that we ship. It is just too cost prohibitive. Everything else on our site includes shipping to your house. The weights by themselves don't include shipping because it's just it's impractical, it's just too much. So that's why they make a great add-on item. We can fit them on a pallet somewhere else for no additional shipping costs. That's the best way to buy. So if you wanna pick these up locally, you are more than welcome to do so. Otherwise, if you wanna buy a bundle, we have a bundle that includes eight weights and a weight bracket. That's gonna include shipping to your house. Or if you wanna buy these weights individually, as long as you're buying something else shipping on a pallet, you're good to go. Okay, so moving up, we're gonna to get to the Sweep All Sweeper. This is a PTO-driven power broom with a hopper on it. So it's just, it's an amazing tool. It's not just for lawns, but it's for all sorts of applications. If you have spring and fall cleanups to do, storm cleanups, it could be your walnuts, your acorns, um, crab apples, apples, whatever you wanna pick up. It could be on golf courses, picking up um, goose poop, goose droppings. It could even be for municipalities or commercial landscapers that wanna clean up after the winter time is over, those big snow piles that melt down and have all the random debris that kinda collects from being plowed into a pile all winter long. There's just so many applications for this product and it is built at a commercial level that comes with a commercial price. However, there's a couple things that help to keep that price a little bit more affordable for you. Number one, it's gonna ship factory direct. So you can place your order through us at Goodworks Tractors. We're gonna ship it right to you instead of coming into us and then shipping back out. Gonna keep the cost down a little bit that way for you. You can build out your sweep all sweeper however you want to right on our website. Enter code GWT at checkout and get 5% off of your order. So fall is also a great time to improve your lawn health. There's not a better time of year that you could do it and you can do it in more comfortable conditions while those temperatures are a little bit cooler. Now the last time I did some lawn leveling was I think a couple years ago now and I did it by hand. I had several yards of topsoil dropped on my driveway and it was the old scoop into a wheelbarrow, walk it out here somewhere, throw it in a low spot and then spread it out. You would think owning a tractor dealership, I would have just used a tractor, but sometimes they make boneheaded decisions. But I'll tell you, that's one of the great uses of a front end loader with a bucket on it. You just go right up to your pile of topsoil, take it out to those low spots. You know, you wanna mow very low so that you can see where the low spots are in your yard. Maybe you'll see it by scalping certain areas too, but that's where you wanna fill in. It's a great time of year to do that because you can overseed after that as well. But that's one of the reasons these subcompacts and compact tractors are so versatile because with that front end loader, it's just one of those many tasks that can save you a whole bunch of time and that really adds up as the years go by. Now, most of you do have buckets on your tractors already, but if you do have a need for a new bucket or maybe a larger bucket, we can help you out with that, whether it's a John Deere Quick Attach or a Skid Quick Attach. If I I didn't mention it, you know, I'm going in sequential order. If you want to improve the health of your lawn in the fall, the first thing I would do is level it out if you're going to. If you don't need to, move on to the next step, which is going to be core aeration. Core aeration is a necessary step for lawns as they get compacted, being driven over, played on, everything that happens throughout the course of life, right? So you want to go through that process periodically, typically once in the fall, maybe in the fall and the spring, depending on your situation. Maybe aerate more than once a year, just depending on how crazy you are about your lawn. I've been there so I can relate, but you want to do it in the fall. It's a great step to take. It's going to get more nutrition, more water, just ease up that soil compaction, let everything breathe a little bit more and just improve the health of the lawn. So I search for products far and wide, and I think we have a couple of great options for lawn core aerators. The first one will be a three-point core aerator from Dirt Dog, which is great for the compacts and subcompact tractors. 
The other one's gonna be a commercial grade unit from Sweetball. It's gonna be a pull behind. It has an electric lift option if you wanna have that. But again, it's commercial grade. It's just gonna be built heavier and beefier. This is the kind of equipment that you would find in a lot of rental stores as well. And I do wanna emphasize, you're gonna find core plug aerators on our website from Goodworks Tractors. We're not gonna sell spike aerators. In my opinion, the spike aerators, they poke a hole in the ground and push all that dirt closer to one another, providing more compaction, whereas a plugger shoots down in the ground and pulls out a core of dirt. And so what that does is allows the other soil that's down there to spread out, have some more breathing room, and that's how you avoid compaction. The next one up is gonna be something we already talked about, and that is gonna be the dethatcher. And that's why that name is a bit of a misnomer. It is very multi-purpose. Use the dethatcher right after core plugging. You're gonna help break up those plugs and dissolve on your ground a lot quicker, but you're also gonna scratch up your ground because coming up right after the thatching is gonna be seeding. And that leads us into the spreader slash seeder. It can do both, so it's gonna be another multi-purpose attachment which comes in really handy. You've done all that hard prep work getting to this point and now it is time to put down the seed that is going to really pay off come springtime. This should be the last step. You want to seed after you've done all that prep work because you've now prepared a good seed bed for good seed to soil contact. You're going to see amazing results come spring. You just got to put in the work in the fall. The combination of that additional moisture that's in your lawn right now and the cooler nighttime temperatures, cooler daytime temperatures, things aren't going to want to dry out as quickly either. It just makes ideal conditions to overseed. And that's a great thing about this seeder spreaders because you can put your seed down. You can use the same piece of equipment to load it up with a starter fertilizer, with your pesticides, with your herbicides. The spreaders that we sell from Ag Spray, they're an electric spreader, so there's no hooking up to a rear PTO. They have a controller for a variable speed adjustment, so you can spread, if you want to, just six feet wide. I think you can go maybe 40 or 50 feet wide if you wanted to go that wide, but there's a lot of adjustment there. It's very easy to use, and you can also use it for ice melting pellets in the wintertime. Not salt, but ice melt pellets for your driveway. Another option for you guys, and I haven't talked about it a whole lot, is gonna be a three-point sprayer. So whether you're looking to do liquid fertilizers and maintenance on your lawn, or if you have food plots or fields that you wanna maintain as well, we sell a great 55-gallon tank sprayer. It's three-point mount, it's quick hitch compatible, or just direct fit to your three-point hitch if you want. PTO driven pump, you can get a version, a very popular version with a spray gun too. Boomless or boom, your choice. It can be customized how you want it as well, but a very good option for you to look into. Well guys, this gives you a really good look at tools to use for your tractor. If you have other ideas, other tools that you use, we'd love to hear about it. Leave a comment down below. Pretty much everything you see here is gonna be available on goodworkstractors.com with the exception being the Protero bagging system. You go right to their website. Again, you're gonna place your order with those folks over there and use code GWT to save 5% off of your order. If you did enjoy this video, I would love to get a thumbs up from you. Make sure you leave a comment down below. If you want to see more tractor videos, hit subscribe. And if you're looking for something for your tractor, check out goodworkstractors.com. Thanks again for taking the time to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.